It was, it was, uh, I, 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 mean, I mean, I know the position is really tough around that point as well, which is yeah. obviously what, what forced you to do that. Let, let's go through the game and let's get to those critical points, because it was around then where the game, yeah. it really decides, you know, how the game goes. So what, Magnus, maybe tell us a bit, a bit about your, your strategy, because clearly this is a very rare line with H3. Um, did you prepare this in detail, or did you just make yeah, it up on the board? Bit, uh, basically, I mean, I'm trying to set up a Maroxibine with, with C4, and uh, to get a solid position where perhaps it's possible to fight for some slight advantage. So you didn't fancy taking on Gawain in a mainline dragon, hmm. then? Uh, no, I was more comfortable with this. All oh, right, okay. <laughs> yeah. So we get this position. But yeah, if I have to play this way, I guess you've gained something with your early h3. I haven't been able to play bishop g4. Yeah, exactly. Was, uh, but, okay, the way I played I thought was okay. Yeah. I got yeah. okay. decent chance. So... I took a long time here trying to analyse knight c5, b4, uh, bishop takes c3. But I thought bc might be better for white. Yeah. Something like Queen A5, C D. Yeah, I was trying to assess this, but felt it was probably good for White. Julian Oshin also mentioned that he had a game once in a very similar structure where he just took the bishop off on C3, allowed you to take on E4 and just played with the two bishops with quite a lot of initiative here. What were you gonna do in this spot after did you look at this? I, I was gonna take on C three probably. Yeah. yeah. But I didn't look at it very much, but I think in general here, white should have good compensation. Yeah. I mean, queen e3, yeah. maybe f5, but it looks okay, a little dodgy. Yeah. Yeah. I, just, I thought this was probably okay for me, but yeah, it's the other line I was worried about. But yeah, I don't know, I, I can even just go a3, then bishop b2. Can I play f4? No. Uh, that was the kind of thing I was analyzing. Okay, uh, I didn't see that. <laughs> oh. That's a nice shot. That's a nice shot. Obviously, because of queen takes e4, bishop f5 for everybody yeah. watching. But um, I mean, even, even then, I think I have a decent position. But I mean, but yeah, you have decent play for the pawn anyway. But I, I mean, if I just take take the knight, bishop here, and then maybe take on f4. Yeah. Okay. It's risky. Bishop d1, <laughs> queen e3. Then we should be if we try to be five. I mean, I mean, maybe not the should be two. Bishop five. Yeah. Okay. I mean, in a practical sense, anyway. I'd yeah. Rather be white here. Sure. Yeah. So you played a five. Yeah. Go in. <laughs> so the nature of the position changes quite, quite somewhat. And if we go a few moves, these are all pretty standard B3s. So, so yeah, I wasn't so sure what, what, whether I should play rook d1 or... or um, because I, I still thought that giving up the pawn would be okay. But probably bishop b2 is better. Okay. Yeah, after rook d1 I wasn't going to take. I, think I wanted to just... Maybe to play f5. Maybe anyway. I, yeah, I think I go f5 anyway. Yeah. Okay, but bishop b2 is probably more useful than rook, rook d1 anyway. Yeah. Okay, f5 is ambitious. Yeah. Were you also considering gf or? Yeah. G I was in these positions. Uh, I thought I might. Do you go knight d5? I, I can go knight d5. Then probably bishop b2. Yeah, take, take. Take, take e5, probably, or e6. Yeah, no, I was trying to... This is what my general plan when I went a5, yeah. but then... I, I think I should go to b, b5 instead to give some pressure on e6. Okay, maybe, yeah, not b5. Yeah. I thought white might be a bit better here. Yeah, maybe. A bit loose, but yeah. it's possible as well. Sure. And I thought there would be something after bishop takes f5, but... Uh, Actually, when I played Bishop, when I played f5, I'd missed knight b5, held your position together in that line. I was only looking oh, okay. at b4. Okay. So that's why I thought for ages further on. 
is that a, yeah. at the point in the game? Yeah. Um, I mean, I, I can also go knight a4 here. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> but that's uh, but I, less ambitious. I take on b2, anyway. yeah? Yeah, you take on b2. No, I, I take on c5. If take on bishop, take the bishop on better, I think. So. Yeah, then rook a2. Yeah, okay. and can I play? Yeah, queen b6 is possible. Yeah. Queen b6, knight a4. Knight a4, just. And back again. And yeah, I have just take and bishop here, f6. Yeah. I was thinking in all these positions I had a decent play for a pawn. Yeah. Maybe not for a queen, but for a pawn. <laughs> yeah. yeah, instead of queen a5, I was trying to get a, b to work as well here. Yeah, that's mainly what I was calculating. Yeah. Bishop takes. And maybe I just take an a2 here? I wasn't yeah, you should, you should. And, I mean, there are several options here. Uh, one is bishop d4. Then I think perhaps the most accurate is to play rook a3 immediately. Because if you take and then rook a3, then I have knight b5. Yeah. So. And then I get kicked And out. I didn't Keep really see surface. another move than rook a3, so. Yeah, you can try bishop c3. I guess I can't get away with queen a5 here. <laughs> Yeah, okay, queen a5, knight a3, bishop c3 is the same thing, basically. Yeah. And then knight b5, a1, takes, takes, queen e7, white, white is definitely better. Yeah. Um, okay, so... Uh, and Yeah, but rook a3 instead... But yeah, rook a3 instead, yeah. And then takes, takes... No, I used up all my time analyzing these... Takes, takes, queen d2. Some positions, but... And then queen, queen a5. A5 yeah. yeah. I mean, I can go knight b5, queen d2, knight d2. But yeah. then you go back and... I, I'm not going to gobble up that pawn in the near future. I mean, I can... I play can play bishop b1 as well in these positions, yeah. Yeah, at some point, so, at some point. So I don't know if I'm playing that, but yeah, I'm going to be a bit is fine here. Uh, but bishop b6 is probably more critical. Here, uh, uh, not not here, but yes, on I the previous know. move. And then probably queen d7, queen d2, and uh, bishop takes h3. Oh, so I could be on either side. <laughs> um, so if I take on h3, I take it. Take. I cannot move the knight because c3 is hanging. And if I go. If I go knight a2, then probably rook a2 to avoid queen d5. Sometimes. Okay, yeah. Queen a2 and this looks like a bit draw, yeah. Queen least, d4 check and check check for, yeah. for black. Yeah. Uh, but I, I, I don't have to take on h3. That was uh, oh, okay. so I can go knight g5 and. Maybe bishop f5, I, I, or bishop g4, I don't really see anything. Can you just else? take on a2 after? Yeah, then I can take on a2 yeah. and... If I lose that pawn, then I can't yeah. have full comp. For the I mean, piece. it's still a little bit messy, but white should come out on top here, for sure. Yeah. Okay, so if we, if we go on with the game, okay, it's, yeah. it's quite <laughs> a... We could, we could spend hours talking about these, yeah. these lines. Hopefully we'll get... Uh, something a bit more formal published afterwards, but um, in the game, well, this is really the critical moment. Yeah, where the main move I was analyzing there was b4 in my analysis before, yeah. but this is good for me, I think. Really? Is it good for you as well? Well, I'm going to lose a pawn, but I've got such good bishops. So okay. I was analyzing it, take, bishop yeah. takes, queen You get takes, a nice square on, on, on e4 for yeah, the Yeah, right queen a5, well. and I uh, have to go to a5, but take, king h8, take yeah. on f5, gf. Oh, I see. That's the difference. I can't be worse in this position. I'm going okay. rookie eight next move. Yeah, you've got a lot of, lot of activity there. I rather want to keep control. Yeah. 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 Right. No, I'd be five, I think, was the best. We, we were looking at was the best move. Yeah. And, then and unfortunately, I was in time trouble, basically, at this point. Yeah. After thinking. So you've played so. this. So, so uh, Magnus, did you expect, I mean, did you look at this move at all? or? Honestly? Yes, you, you obviously so. And I even remembered uh, Gwyn's game from the British Championship. <laughs> 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 Steven, so. uh, 
That's <laughs> right, good. So I'm. I got a bit carried away. <laughs> yeah. So okay. So I spoke with. So okay. Yeah. With with two pieces, you know. No, I I think in general Queen A3 is a serious move. So Rook F6 was the other yeah, line I was analysing mainly. Okay. But then so I thought. Both looked at that. We we were contemplating whether whether you'd even consider that, but actually the computer thought that was the best move. What, Rook F6? Rook F6, yeah. But then I didn't like Bishop takes C5. Oh, okay. And I can play Rook E6, but Queen D2. And my Rook looks really awkward on E6. Yeah. Yeah, so, I mean, DC5 and G4. Is, isn't what actually winning something? Yeah. No, he's not. Takes, right, takes and... Um, I can play... I thought I could also go Queen A2 in these positions. To, uh, ah, Queen A2, that's tricky. But maybe you can get out somehow. Ah, so may maybe this actually... Maybe I'm okay with this. Yeah. I missed it, takes E2. Yeah. I have to be honest, I, I didn't take that very seriously, so maybe I should have. Okay, yeah. So rook f6, I guess was. Uh, yeah. <coughs> okay, but queen a3, I think is is not. Yeah. No, unfortunately, I was just. Well, I thought if uh, I might as well sacrifice my queen against the world number one if I'm going to do it against anyone. <laughs> but I was just. Too Can you short. do it against me next time? <laughs> <laughs> I was just too short on time to play this accurately, though. Now. Yeah. I mean, I considered rook b1. Rook b1 was actually the main line I was analysing. Yeah. yeah. And then I thought, can I go rook a8? Yeah, I thought rook a8, and it really bothered me that you don't have to take this rook. Yeah. Maybe I'll take a next move and go rook a1 back again or something, but I don't need to do it for a while. Yeah. Maybe I, c I can play rook fd1 and, and prepare bishop d3, though. Yeah, John Spielman said that he felt rook v1 was a yeah. possible solution. Yeah, uh, but still, I mean, even if you just take on, on b1 and go either rook a1 or bishop f6, it's yeah. not easy. Yeah, it's... I thought this kind of position was what I was analysing. Yeah. I missed something in 92, and then after I realised I'd missed something. I mean, something. The, the extra material is not really felt here, I think. Um, so, I mean, in the, in the game, the extra material is, isn't really felt either, but at least it's a bigger material <laughs> advantage. Yeah. Then. So, okay, knight, knight d4, queen e7 just Yeah, you can work. just take on e7, yeah. yeah. Okay. And then bishop f6, queen, queen e3, back again. rook a8, this is what I thought. No, 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 other, other one. I didn't want to uh, go away, get more material. Yeah, but then I saw knight f3, and I was happy with that. And giving back some material, yeah. and winning. <laughs> okay, but bishop d d4 is correct. Uh, queen g3, but here I think... I don't know, either rook a8 or yeah, king h8 was, was, okay. was more... Was I was worried by bishop f3. Yeah, but bishop f3, bishop uh, e5, that's the problem. Ah, uh, yeah, I'm just going to bishop e5, of course, got this perpetual note. Yeah. It's perpetual on the queen, isn't yeah. it, after bishop f3? Yeah. So I need to go king h1, I think. Uh, and then perhaps play, try to play f4 later on. Yeah, I but at the very least, you have several extra champions extra yeah. on the game. So I'm actually about to win the b3 pawn yeah. around here. So, I mean, I think after king h8, it would be pretty unclear. So, so you sensed that it was getting a substantial advantage after? Yeah, now, now I was pretty happy. Right. Uh, I thought the position after f4 was easier to play, at least. And, I mean, I'm going bishop g4, putting the rook on e1, and, and my queen is not really in danger anymore. And then after this, I mean, I know personally, I mean, I would hate to play Gawain with white in this position because, hmm. not only because I've seen the game against Stephen, but because this is the sort of position actually you do very well in, but Magnus, you made it look so, um, so easy, actually. Um, so, I mean, were you confident, I mean, around this point, did you think, uh, you know, you were, you were very close to a win here, you were... Well, I, I was just very happy to have got, gotten in f4, bishop g4, and freed my position up yeah. a little. Uh, and so, I, I was definitely 
much more optimistic than a few moves ago. Okay. Um, but I still thought there were some some tricks for sure. Because as the game went on, yeah, bishop c2. Bishop c2. Rook yeah, yeah, I have to get the bishops on. King h8, yeah. Yeah, because you're threatening f5, yeah. Yeah, um, maybe. I wasn't, I wasn't too sure. I thought if you can sack your rook from my dad to a bishop or something. Then yeah, that, that's... My vision's going to yeah, collapse, so I have to try and keep it. That's true. But also after king h8, H8 rook e3 is very strong, yes. so... Yeah. No, I missed... Yeah, I missed rook e3 was legal. Yeah. And now it's just it's just over, I think. Yeah. B4 Once B4 happens, move, it's... Yeah, B4 Fortunately for me, the queen has a square on D1. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> that would have been... Uh... What about, instead of pushing H4 immediately, playing knight D3 first? No, D3 straight away. Uh, yeah, then probably bishop D7. No, 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 not bishop D7. Um, let's see. Worry, fine. I thought you could just play bishop, like e6 or something. Well, then fine? you go h4, and if I take on, on, on g6, then there's knight f2. Ah, yeah. <laughs> then you go queen g4, yeah. Do I have any yeah but then still there's knight f3, knight, knight f2, and taking on an e3. And then f Five. We missed that Sorry one. Sorry, guys, I've, I've, I've lost a thread there. So bishop e6. So bishop e6, h4. h4. And then if queen g4, knight f2, discovered check on the rook. Actually, this is, yeah. Because you can't play f5. No, you can't play f5 still. Yeah, I cannot, I cannot do this. Oh, no. Can't go for this. Yeah. Um, okay. I actually sort of missed the whole knight f2 uh, discovery on the, on the queen thing, so that wasn't very impressive. Um, perhaps knight e4? Knight e4. Yeah, I guess I take your bishop while I can. Now you can take the bishop. And then I, I take an f6. So what's happening? I take with the rook. The rook, yeah. Um, check on h4, probably. I can just check me. And then... Check on e7. Check on e7. Looks like it's winning. Yeah. I take with the pawn, it's not so different. Yeah, but... Yeah, it doesn't, yeah. It doesn't actually matter. Uh, but perhaps... Is possible here also. <coughs> Queen h2, knight f2. I have problems with the background. You have to go knight takes. I have to go knight takes. Okay, this is uh, another good position relative to it. Yeah. Now, I thought that I had good play for it, but then I just. The Maybe problem this is I had 10 possible. minutes for 15 moves or whatever, and I just couldn't manage it. No, it's a it's a tough position to play and find these the right moves. And uh, really s sloppy of me to, to to not see this. So bishop d1, maybe. Okay, so can I play knight f5? Yeah, knight f5, I'll take. Take on e3. Take on e3. Probably take on c2. Take it. I have to take this one, right? What you take and play rook f3. Queen of h5, rook f3, mm -hmm. rook f7, or something. And then d3s. Yeah. Hang on. No, take. No, but you could, maybe you can go rook h8 and then. Okay, okay, so maybe rook f3 immediately is better. No, but then you have h4, so then. Oh, and take on d3. Yeah. Okay, so rook f3. Okay, I would definitely have had to sweat, <laughs> sweat a bit, but it looks like bishop d1 might be pretty strong. Yeah, I think I trusted you. Yeah. Okay, but now anyway, it's just... But yeah, now it's, it's only two pieces and I've got no threats. Yeah. Yeah. There's a problem. No. Yeah, I'm also threatening rook, rook e6 and okay. taking, taking yeah. the bishop. Okay, all right, well, um, 
What an entertaining game. Um, thank you very much for coming in and sharing with it. Uh, us with it. No it with us. <laughs> us with it. I can't, I'm flattered that I can't even speak to you. This is, I need to learn some English. Uh, us with it. It with us. Okay. No, thanks guys. That was, that was really good.